To answer everyone's questions related to the VS Code topic, today I will share some extensions I use in VS Code to help everyone save time, increase productivity directly in the working process. Please read till the end as these extensions have helped me improve my code performance a lot. As a programmer, the phase of working with API is probably one of the most time-consuming phases, testing and checking for possible errors. Echo API is a good choice, simple installation without logging in. Intuitive interface supporting all methods. Helps us quickly create and manage requests right in VS Code, thereby saving a lot of time. All we need to do is enter the path we want to check. Add param and click. Even without creating an account, we can still save the test history for future use. Echo API is free, supports offline use, and is fully compatible with Postman scripts. When working with front end, you will waste time when you want to see how a class is declared in CSS and find the declared file to edit it. With CSS Peak, you will not need to worry about that. When you hold the control button and hover on a class name, the CSS information of that class will appear immediately helping you know what properties this class is declared with. And when you click on it, you will be taken to that file right at the location of that class for you to edit it. This is an extension that many of you have asked me about as it has continuously appeared in previous videos. The task of the error lens extension is simply to report errors. When it detects an error in the syntax, it will report the error with a line of colored text, helping us to detect and handle it early. One of the errors we often have to look at is the character, right? It will also report errors for us. There is another interesting thing. For example, in CSS, when I declare a class but do not set any properties, it also shows a warning. This case is not an error but is unnecessary, helping us detect redundant CSS code to remove. When working in a team or submitting code to an employer, spelling mistakes are one of the most obvious mistakes. They will often underestimate the quality of our code because of these first mistakes. With the code spell checker extension, you no longer need to worry about that. As soon as it detects a spelling mistake, it will notify you with a blue line, so you can quickly detect and fix it. It would be great if you combine it with the error lens extension. Then the diaper notification will be easier to see without hovering. And when we declare a variable with more than one word, this extension will also do its job well. It only accepts this as a correct variable if it complies with the current variable naming rules. This is an extremely important extension in optimizing the performance of a web application. Its task is to check and report the kilobyte cost that we need to import something. For example, to import image, we need to spend 16 kilobytes and 6 kilobytes after zipping. Based on these costs, we know why the web is slow and find a way to fix it. In this case, to import the bounds, I had to spend 71 kilobytes because I ran out of Lodash. Instead, I just imported the bounce, so the cost is now only 3 kilobytes. This is just a typical example. When doing a real project, its power will be shown in an amazing way. When working with a team and using Git, the Gillens extension is an extremely useful extension. It helps me simplify everything, giving me contextual information from Git about the code and file I am working on. The most useful part that I find is that it shows who edited this code at the most recent time and in which commit. When working with HTML, sometimes the most time-consuming thing is to change the name of a tag. Because in projects, designs make HTML code have many overlapping tags. At this time, if you change the name of a tag, you will need to find the correct closing position of that tag to rename it. This job is not only time-consuming but also confusing because people can see there are too many divs here. Auto rename tag is a simple and effective extension. Its task is that when we change the name of a tag, it will automatically find the closing part of that tag and help us rename it, thereby saving a lot of time and avoiding mistakes. This is an extension I have used throughout all videos. After installing, you will be able to launch the local server with just one click without any setup. Its first benefit is that it automatically refreshes the website when we change the code. It is an indispensable extension in the layout design phase because we will not need to F5 continuously to see the interface just edited. The second benefit is that it supports running more advanced types of code. For example, in this case, I want to use the fetch function to get product data from a JSON file. If you run the project through disk access, but with a live server, we will not encounter this error thanks to which we will avoid many annoying errors when working. 
Since this is a top extension that is useful in saving time and improving performance, it is understandable that the bracket pair color extension is on this list. When working with code, we will have to use brace and parentheses characters. In some cases, when there are too many pairs of characters nested together, it will make it confusing and difficult to see, making it easy for us to put the code in the wrong place. This extension has the task of coloring the opening and closing pairs of characters to help us easily distinguish them from other pairs of characters, thereby making it easier to see and avoiding mistakes. Extension Prettier is a very powerful extension in formatting code. It helps our code to always be neat and tidy. However, some of you have installed this extension but cannot use it. That is because you have not installed it. First, go to the Settings section. Search for Default Format. Here, select Extension Prettier as default. Finally, search for Format to save. And check here. Now, if when working with JavaScript code, I accidentally created spaces and line breaks at the wrong time, then as soon as I save the file, my code will be moved to the correct format. How convenient, right? What's more, it supports many languages. For example, in CSS, I do the same thing. After saving, this extension will help me rearrange the code neatly. And that's the top 10 extensions I often use to save time and improve my coding productivity. How many of these 10 extensions have you used? And do you have any interesting extensions? Please share in the comments so we can have more useful extensions when using VS Code. Thank you everyone for watching the video until the end. See you again in the next video.